Hello, everyone, and thanks again for joining us. Let's go. So today we're going to talk about training. Once we've written an emergency operations plan, there are many other things that we need to do to be prepared as a community. One of them is to share knowledge and improve critical thinking and problem-solving skills. So today we're going to discuss three topics about training, the importance of training, what type of training is available, and how to access it. So one of my favorite disaster scholars is E.L. Quarantelli. He's a very famous sociologist who studies emergency management. And he said the following, good disaster preparedness must include training as a key component. Quarantelli also stated, training involves not only teaching oneself what is expected, but also teaching others what is expected of them. So it's really important that emergency managers don't forget this important principle. So who could benefit from training? Well, really, everyone could. Emergency managers could learn more about emergency operation centers. First responders could learn about weapons of mass destruction and how to deal with those complicated terrorist type of hazards. Elected officials could learn more about decision-making in complicated environments. And then, of course, department leaders could learn more about their roles in emergency management. Where can people access training about disasters and emergency management? Local jurisdictions obviously provide this type of training. They train their police, their fire, their emergency medical service personnel. They also train their department leaders and others involved in emergency management. States have fire rescue academies, and they also offer emergency management courses for those people working in that particular profession. The federal government likewise offers training, and it offers it at various locations. For instance, there's a Center for Domestic Preparedness in Anniston, Alabama, and at this campus, a lot of first responders will understand and learn more about terrorism and how to deal with those complicated uh, type of man-made disasters. In addition, there's also the Emergency Management Institute and the National Fire Training Academy. This is in Emmitsburg, Maryland. It's a beautiful campus and people will go to this location to take training for a few days or even weeks at a time. There's several training opportunities online including the FEMA independent study courses that are available. Of course, online training is more prevalent today in light of COVID-19 and our advances in technology. But many of these training sessions are in person and they're available through local, state, and federal government agencies. Training covers a variety of topics. For instance, there's a lot of focus on different types of hazards so we can better understand the natural, technological, or anthropogenic sources of disasters. We probably could understand or utilize more training on vulnerability, however. But there's training on the phases of emergency management, whether it's prevention, protection, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. There's training on the functions of emergency management, such as warning, incident command, EOC management, there's training on public information and even donations management. Earlier, I mentioned the training opportunities that are available through FEMA independent study courses. They cover a variety of topics, including social media, the role of voluntary organizations in disasters, local damage assessment, and introduction to individual assistance, among others. FEMA also offers more advanced courses, such as the Professional Development Series. These are more detailed and cover topics such as decision-making in disasters or managing volunteers and exercise design. If you're interested in learning more about training, you can talk to a peer. Your colleagues will understand what training is available and how you can access it. You can also check the websites of local, regional, or state government agencies related to emergency management, although sometimes there's areas or opportunities for improvement on those websites. 
You can search for training opportunities through FEMA on Google. And this is a great way to access what's available for you and your community. If you're interested in learning more about training, I've provided a few resources here. Obviously, these are a little bit dated, uh, but they're helpful nonetheless. And of course, any introduction to emergency management textbook should have some information on training if you're interested in learning more. Well, to review, training is imperative. We can access it through a variety of sources, through local, state, and federal government agencies. And one of the most important things is that as you train yourself, don't forget to train others. It's very important that we increase our knowledge and understanding of disasters and emergency management functions so that we can be more resilient in the future. Thanks so much and have a great day.